Hello, it's Pastor Doug back again with another video. Today, I want to take a quiz. And the quiz is about how spiritual are you? I'm actually very excited. I remember taking a similar quiz way back in my seminary days, back in the 90s. I think it was published in Time Magazine. And it was to judge how spiritual you were. And I failed it miserably. So I want to see if I'm any more spiritual after all these years. We should read the introduction first, though. This is to find out, uh, to find out, take this test, which is adapted from a personality inventory devised by Washington University psychiatrist Robert Cloninger. Klon I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Author of, and I love the title, Feeling Good, The Science of Well-Being. I did read the first two questions, but I haven't read the rest, so I'm going to take this blind. But we do need to know the point system. And if you go down and read the point system, it says, give yourself one point for every true answer and zero points for a false answer. So every time I say something true, I have to write down it as a point. And you can play along too and see how spiritual you are. So let me see the first question. I often feel so connected to people around me that it is like there is no separation between us. Oh, well, for me, that's false. I often do things to help protect animals, plants from extinction. Nope, don't do that. I am fascinated by many things in life that cannot be scientifically explained. <sighs> All right, that's a hard one. Because I'm fascinated by things, of course, like God and the soul and things of that nature, and yet they cannot be explained by science, but they're not just some mystical things either. I mean, the, those things are logical. I mean, God, the existence of God is logical. The existence of the soul are logical. So for this question, I'm going to say false. Often I have unexpected flashes of insight or understanding while relaxing. I would say not often, every once in a while, and you know, hopefully it's occasionally with the Holy Spirit, but generally I'd say false. I sometimes feel so connected to nature that everyone seems to be part of one living organism. Psh, no, of course not. That's a false. Um, I seem to have a sixth sense that sometimes allow me to know what is going to happen. No. Sometimes I have felt like I was part of something with no limits or boundaries in time and space. I mean, I could twist that question to make it fit to the church, universal church, but quick answer is no, so that's false. I am often called absent-minded because I get so wrapped up in what I'm doing, I lose track of everything else. I am slightly absent-minded, and occasionally I get that label, but not often, so I'm going to have to go with false. I often feel a strong sense of unity with all the things around me. Nope, don't have that. Even after thinking about something for a long time, I have learned to trust my feelings more than logical reasons. Absolutely not. That's false. I often feel a strong spiritual or emotional connection with all the people around me. Sometimes, sure. Often, no. Often when I am concentrating on something, I lose awareness of the passage of time. Once in a while, but no, not often, as my wife and my daughter will testify. I'm really good at keeping track of time. 13. I have made real personal sacrifices in order to make the world a better place, like trying to prevent war, poverty, and injustice. I'm going to go with true on that one. Um, I, I did, uh, there was one time I was serving a small church, and it had a large number of neo-Nazis in it large minority, I should say, and I quit that church. And that was a sacrifice on my family. So I'd have to say true on that one. I have had experiences that make my role in life so clear to me that I felt very happy and excited. You know, I'm going to have to give that one true. There are times I've had strong movements of the spirit that I have no doubt in the Christian faith and no doubt in my calling. So I'll go true with that one. I believe that I have experienced extrasensory perception. No, that's false. I have had moments of great joy in which I suddenly had a clear, deep feeling of oneness with all that exists. Uh, no, I've had moments of great joy in the spirit, but oneness with all that exists? Yeah, no. Often when I look at an ordinary things, something wonderful happens. 
I get the feeling that I am seeing it fresh for the first time. I, again, I, that's happened to me a few times, but often, no, that's false. I love the blooming of flowers in the spring as much as seeing an old friend again. No, I have a lot of allergies in the spring, sometimes nights, but the bugs come out and the flowers, nah, eh, I don't like allergies, so faults on that. I often seem to other people that I am not, that I am in another world because I am so completely unaware of things going around me. No, that's false. I believe that miracles happen. Well, that's a true, true. All right, so what's your score? I have three. So I have three truths. So let's go down and read. So I'm in the lowest category. So I'm a highly skeptical, resist, I'm highly skeptical, that's interesting, resistant to developing spiritual witnesses. Well, praise God, awareness, sorry. Praise God, this is the best category to probably be in. All right, let me be a little serious for a second here. I did answer those questions seriously, but I hope you notice how self-focused, self-absorbed, and neo-pagan those questions were. Those questions had nothing to do with true spirituality. True spirituality is found in the Holy Spirit, which is found in Christ and Him crucified, as revealed in the Holy Scriptures. There was no talk about what you believe. There was no talk about your spiritual habits of going to church and things of that nature. The, the, this test is a bunch of joke. But now, I will say this. There is no personality requirement in the kingdom of Christ. I am a very analytical, very logical, very unemotional person. Um, pray for my wife. Saying that, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I've known very devout brothers and sisters, however, that are very emotional. They're, you know, very, they're very overtly hugging and feeling, and that's okay too. There is no personality requirement in the kingdom. We have freedom on that. However, we should be highly skeptical of crazy neo-pagan thought. And we should be resistant to developing spiritual awareness by getting in touch with ourselves or getting in touch with nature. Now, again, if you love nature, that's okay. It's part of God's good creation. What was that great line by Calvin? Uh, nature is the theater of God's glory. And a beautiful concept. But again, I hope you see how silly this test is. And we should judge all things by scripture. Well, this was a fun little um, test. I hope you enjoyed this diversion, and as always, Christ's grace to you all. Amen.